Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to The Gamer Couple. We're Sam and Aiden, and for today's video, we're bringing you episode one in our brand new series, Pro Tips with Pro Players. Today we're joined by team captain of Complexity's professional Fortnite team, Michael Hogman. Hogman is an insane Fortnite player who's been crushing the Fortnite scene since the very beginning. He recently placed 4th in week 4 of the Fortnite Summer Skirmish, and placed 12th in the Duo Skirmish this last weekend. Today, he's going to be giving some tips on the Rift system inside of Fortnite, and also one extremely overpowered tip to guarantee you a kill every time you use a Rift. If you haven't downloaded Fortnite yet, our affiliate link is in the description below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Dude, I feel like, final, I feel I like mean, at this just point. being patient. He knows that he's the only one high ground, and those ah. three have to fight each other. Yeah. Oh, There's there you four. go. Your point. Hogman finds wait, four. Wait, wait, wait. No way. Whoa, that was Ninja. There's, there's, there's five. Ninja. Oh. Have a nice day. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> oh my. What? Here we go. Um, oh, he That's got a huge tag. He can do it. E, baby. Oh, that was a good end game for Hog, man. What's up, everybody? My name is Michael Hogman. I'm the team captain for Complexity's professional Fortnite team. And today we're going to be talking about the rifts that were recently added in Season 5 for Fortnite. Okay, so as you guys know, in Fortnite, pretty much every season, the developers will go through and they'll change everything about um, how they're going to have their game. Is there a different theme of the game? Um, is there different mechanics? Last season, we had Hop Rocks, which were really cool. And this season, we have these multi-dimensional rifts and how these rifts work is they are at select locations throughout the the island and they also um spawn in a certain amount so it's possible like next to tomato town for example you could have four rifts or you could have one rift or you could have, even have zero rifts and how these work is you go through these rifts you just walk through one of them um the rift will despawn in about five seconds after you walk into it for your teammates or for enemies or whatever to walk into as well and then you will spawn, you will basically teleport way up in the air as if you're dropping out of the bus again, and you can glide to wherever you want on the map. And I think that that's really cool because you're adding a lot of mobility to a player, whereas you would just have to run there very slowly, right? You wouldn't have any surprise potential. So I look at these rifts as a very, very positive, infor like a very positive feature to the game. I hope that they do continue to leave these after season five, but it's possible that they might take them away. But there's two different things you can do with these rifts specifically. Um, one is you can play it very aggressively. And I'll get into that in a second. But I want to warn you guys that the other other way that I would use the rift, if you only have one rift left in one specific area and it's yours to take, I would use it to reposition around the map. I would use it to go towards the safe zone or go towards like the middle of the safe zone and try to find a way to either farm materials better, get into a better spot, get better loot if you need it, get some more shield if you need it. Um, just be smart with what you're doing because the other method is something that is very aggressive. It's a little bit risky. And I think that if you do it, you might be able to land a free kill and increase your kills per game every game if you'd start doing this trick. Okay. So this aggressive rift dive, I call it, it's like a rift dive. Um, I, I it, it's, it's going to be interesting because if you take this rift and you want to kill someone, what you're going to do is you're going to rift in. Um, you're going to have your SMG or drum gun or whatever your fastest slash highest DPS weapon is. Um, you could even do a hunting rifle if you like want to no-scope somebody off of a rift dive. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to go in with your SMG pulled out before you enter the rift. And this is really important because if you go with your pickaxe in um, or if, if you have like a pump shotgun out as you're entering the rift, you're going to have to enter the rift, drop, land, and then swap your weapons, and you're gonna lose a very crucial amount of time there, and that's not what I want. Um, I want you guys to have an SMG out. You're gonna land, you're gonna basically glide over somewhere where you feel like players are at, or one player is at, and if you see a player farming or whatever, you basically just dive on them. So you just dive full speed, and what's cool about diving is that when you don't have your glider out, you don't make any noise. You're completely silent. Um, and I would recommend using your umbrella over a glider because gliders make more noises than umbrellas. Um, so you want to basically surprise this player as you're diving on them, you will land on them with your SMG, you're gonna get as close as possible. And the reason for that is if you are literally like from here to my hand, like right next to their player model, um, their building will actually go behind you. So if they start panic building to stop your shots, um, 
or even if they have to like pull out a shotgun, you're gonna have the advantage in that split second of time in order to land that kill. So I would recommend basically just swan diving onto them with your SMG, and if you pull out your SMG before you go into the rift, your SMG will automatically you know come into your hands and you can begin firing. Um, so you're gonna basically swan dive on them with your SMG and just light them up, be as close as possible, continue walking to them and don't walk away from them so that they can build. You want to get as close as possible so that you can basically cause them to panic. You can start doing a ton of damage to them. And even if they do get buildings in between you, it's possible that you would have done 80 to like 150 damage already and they might have 50 more health. Um, so a couple things I want to warn you guys about before doing this. Um, it is possible that they can pull out a pump shotgun and since you're in very close range, if they line up the shot, if they aim it well, they could hit you for 150, 170 damage. Like that's possible. So always keep in mind, if you have 200 health, they can't one shot you with that or with that shotgun and you're likely to kill them before they kill you. But if you have 100 health and you have no shield, then it is also very risky because they could just pull out their shotgun and kill you because it's more likely for their shells to hit you um, since you're in such close proximity range, right? But if you do catch them off guard, you will likely get the kill. I can't tell you how many people I've killed with this. It has definitely increased my kills per game. I've killed pro players doing this. I've killed pro players multiple times over and over and over because there's just nothing you can do when you do this rift dive. But yeah, I've gotten so many different kills. And if I have like four rifts, um, I usually use like all four of those rifts. I'll get three kills and then I'll use the last rift to go reposition to wherever the safe zone is. I think this is a pretty cool trick. Um, so I hope you guys learn from this and you guys can definitely check out my channel over at youtube.com slash hogmanlaws and twitch.tv slash hogmanlaws. I stream and upload every single day and would love to, for you guys to join the hog squad. Um, but you guys can definitely um, check those out and we're going to get back to the gamer couple. We wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to Hogman for helping out with this episode. He's an extremely kind and genuine person who runs an amazing stream and YouTube channel. If you guys aren't subscribed to Hogman yet, make sure you go and do that right away. Links to his YouTube and Twitch will be in the description below. Before we wrap things up, we just wanted to summarize the tips that Hogman gave in this video. When rift diving, get as close as possible to the enemy because any good player will try to build out of instinct, but if you're right on top of them, the building will go behind you. Enter the rift with your high DPS weapon already equipped so it goes straight into your hands when landing. When diving, you make no sound, so try to dive as close as possible to the enemy for maximum surprise potential. Using umbrellas instead of gliders will also minimize your sound as well. Whenever there are multiple rifts, use them for kills, but if there's only one rift, use it to rotate for better positioning or for some extra farming and looting time. Anyway guys, it's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. If you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to never miss a Fortnite video or live stream. If you want to stay up to date with us, our Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and Twitch are in the description. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.